welcome to Board Gaming at Home. I'm Kelly. Hi, Russ. I'm Ty. I'm the age is nine. And today, we're doing a fat, um, fat, kind of a family play through of Ember. Why is it only a kind of family? Because we're missing <laughs> <one>. <laughs> Yeah, Mia's missing because she can't read well enough yet to play this game. It's the only barrier. It's quite a nice, easy game. But, um, yeah, she can't read, so it's a bit of a barrier for her. We're playing Ember, the magical card game. And, um... Essentially, we're wizards conjuring up um, different mythical creatures um, to earn us victory points, really. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice theme and the artwork's really good, but at the end of the day, it's really a set collection game where we're going to be collecting um, multiples of the same um, character or same number, um, sets of the same suit of card as well, same colours. Um, and runs are either the same or different colours as well and then we'll be using these sets to buy these different cards which have all got special abilities on them uh, so yeah, nice um, enjoyable game we'll, we'll explain what we're doing as we go as ever so I'm going to go first and the first thing you're going to do on your turn is your draw phase and if you've got your hand limit of five cards and you want to draw a card you've got to discard one first so I'll discard that one and draw up um, and then you have the option to conjure an animal by paying <coughs> a set. For example, this, this is the cheapest, most basic one. This is two cards of the same element, so the two cards of the same suit or colour. Uh, well, let me take one of these. Um, but, I think... Shall I go with that or shall I wait for a better hand? I'm going to go with this. So I've got a 9, 10, 11 of three different colours. So it's a three card run in different elements, which lets me pick from this pile up here. So I'll play those cards. Let's see what we want. So this ability, I can increase the victory... I didn't mention that. The numbers at the top right of the game are victory points. And when you've got 30, you have the option to call it and trigger the end of the game. And then whoever's got the most victory points at the end wins. So let's see what abilities we've got. Increase the victory point of any one creature by plus 3 for the rest of this turn. Or reduce it. Or immediately steal any one... Oh, that, that might be handy. I'm going to take Arachne. And she says that I can use this card by flipping it over. So it's a single use, unless I find a way to flip it back. And it says that I can immediately steal any um, non-wild card used in the conjure. So when some, once somebody else conjures up an animal, and if I see what, a card there that I need to complete my set, I can use this to take one of those cards which could be quite handy. And then I draw back up the three cards that I spent. And then if I had more than five, or more than my hand limit, I would then discard down, and it's now Ty's turn. I'm going to discard a six to draw a card. Yep. Okay. I'm going to discard two t matching wizards to get one of these cards. Yes. So you've discarded a, a white two and a green two. You're going to take from that pile. You're going to take my favourite. Mm, <laughs> yep, you take. And oh, Debbie doesn't want them. Don't want them do they? they go back up here on the, on the layout. Uh, read what right. you. So, what Ty's taken is the eagle. This is a favourite of mine. I normally get this one. Um, he can look at the top three cards of the charred pile, which is the discard pile, and steal one. And these abilities you can use out of turn as well, which is quite handy. So if me or Kelly put something in the discard pile he wants, he can take it. You can also be a wild. So draw back up to five. Okay, two cards. There are, there are three wild cards uh, called Archmages in the deck. Um, I'll show you one of them when, when they come up. It looks oh, there we go. Like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's th three of those. They count as wild. Or you can spend it to turn one of your own creatures back face up. Or you can spend it to make someone turn theirs face down. Right, so I'm going to discard in that one. Ooh, I'm not tall enough. I can pass to you. Mm. So I have. Right, so we've got a six, a seven, my wild is an eight, and a nine. So it's a four card run of oh. any elements. So where are they? Four of the same, so it must be along here. Four card run of one. any element is this one. <laughs> Mm. Let's take these. No, wait a minute, because Ty's only allowed to look at the top three, isn't he? <laughs> 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 because Ty's got the uh, eagle ability that lets him look at the top three cards of this pile, Kelly made sure she put her Archmage at the bottom 
one, so it's the fourth Why card. Why are you so mean? I absolutely suck at this game. <laughs> right, I'm going to pick the Tarion. It says, look through the child deck and out of play pile and take any one card which I'm playing. Can I have my Archmage, Archmage back, please? Thank you. So Kelly spent that ability and the card's now face down. The victory points still count at the end of the game, it just means she can't use the ability anymore. I played four wizards, so I've got to draw up four and then discard one. One, two, three, four. Oh, she's got an extra card because you used the ability. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oops. I've got another Archmage, sorry. We've <laughs> got two of them. <laughs> yep. Don't believe you're lucky in this game. <laughs> right, so I'm going to discard a card to draw one. Okay. Ah. Now. Right, I'm going to pass. Okay. My turn. Mm-hmm. Let's just go a five. Okay. Let's draw it up. Really? Doesn't help at all. Okay. So what are you, what are you doing? Is there a two card one? Two of the same element? No. Yep, this one. I said two cards are on. No. Two's not a run, you need at least three for a run. Okay. Yeah, you could get a wisp. Let's get a wisp. So you're going to take a wisp. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, let's keep it. Right. And draw back up to five. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm jumping ahead. I'll discard that one. Mm. Let's see if I get what I want. Oh, that's not fair. Oh. Oh, that's not fair. That'll give him a wizard if I do that one. I don't want to give him one of them. Yes, I do. Four. Matching wizards. Okay. okay. Which is this part. Daddy, we're both going to get one. Daddy can't take it. He can't take the Archmage. <laughs> okay, I can only take a non-Archmage card. Okay, I'm going to look at the top three. <laughs> it's in the top three because I've played two of them. And where's the nearest one? That's a... There we go. I'm taking the Phoenix. You may draw a card at the start of each of your turns. So? You may draw a card at the start of your turn. So I get to draw an extra. Eight. Oh. Can I have four, please? Okay, I'm going to discard that one. Oh, okay. So I was I was holding out to try and get five of the same element, but I'm not going to waste too many turns doing it. So I've got four of the same element, which is this pile here. So I'm going to take one of these. I've got five fox or pegasus with fire elemental. I'm going to take the Firefox. Now the Firefox says, this is an ongoing ability, I don't have to flip the card, I can do this all the time. Once on my turn, I can discard any one card I've just drawn and draw another. Daddy? So during the draw phase, I'll get two shots at getting one. This is four card Ron. Sorry? Oh, did I? Oh. Put it I looked at the wrong pile. That's a shame. Four card, card of any element, it's these. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Um, well done, Ty. Right, let's go with the Lamine Lion, which says that it, I can use him to switch Daddy, the target of any one creature. The four card rod of any element. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Is this oh, one? That's still the wrong one. <laughs> four cards of the same element. <laughs> yeah, try that part. Oh, my word. Three, three times like we're failing on reading today. This, this isn't the game's fault. This is our bad for not reading properly. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, right, okay. Let's go for... I'm going to go for the White Heart and that increases my hand size by one. I was getting that one. So uh, my hand size, my hand limit, instead of being five, is now six. I'll draw back the four I spent. And then it's time. I'm going to discard a card. Which is the water element Daddy was after just now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I keep saying blue, white, green, and uh, four cards. Red. It's greyish. That's white. Um, so I think white's wind, green's probably earth, blue's water, and 
the red ones are probably fire, I guess. And the wild do anything. Right, what are you spending here? Six, seven, eight, nine. A four card, four card run of any element. <laughs> Does that say any element? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a four card run, yeah. Yeah. Cancel and prevent any creature from using flip ability. Switch. What's he spent? Four cards. There's your four cards. So what did you take? Cerberus. You can use this to prevent any one creature from using its flip ability this turn. So you can stop someone from using their card this turn. I am also going to discard a water. That's why I couldn't find any water. You two had one. And I'll get the extra one for my phoenix. Right, so four cards. <laughs> I'm making sure I read it right this time. I've got four of the same element because I've found the other art mode. So I get to take these ones. <laughs> four cards of the same element. Oh, I've got so you've had, already you've had all three Archmage cards. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I had one of them. Yeah, I stole you, it. Yeah you, stopped, yeah, you had it after Mummy played, but she's had all three of them in her hand this 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 game. So unfair. Right, I've got the Griffin. Take the top five cards of the draw deck. Still one, then return the rest in any order. That's supposed to go easy. <laughs> uh, oh no, he's used it, but I'm still going to put it at the bottom. Right. Hang on, I've got to dis... Right. So, my hand size is now six. I've only got five cards, so I don't need to discard to draw. I'm just going to draw straight up. Let's go for... Three cards of the same element, which is this part here. Let's double check. Three cards of the same element. <laughs> We're making sure we get it right now. <laughs> right, I am going to take the jellyfish and I'm going to activate it straight away. So I'll do it in a second. Right, so look at one player's hand and discard one of their cards. What one? Oh. <laughs> Just um, fire. Yeah, you can get rid of the red five. I thought you still had an Archmage. No, I just used it. Oh, that's my mistake. Now I need to draw back up three cards. So there's two. And when the draw pile's empty, we shuffle the discard pile. That was annoying. I was going for the five one, one for five. Yeah, well, I'll break your strongest potential hack. She seems to be winning at the moment. I don't know what's under your turned over one, so... Okay, so I'm going to draw one, and it's Ty's turn. Oh, no, you're handling this six, isn't it? Yep. We're going to discard a nine. Ooh! <laughs> what's Ooh. that sound for? Ooh! That's good. Go on then, what are you doing? That's good. But she has a scarred for 13. Tough. Come on, do something. Three matching wizards. Three matching wizards, okay. That's, Three, right. that's this one. Three matching yeah, so wizards. Take from this pile. <laughs> so you can draw one, two. Oh, he's left the Archmage on top. Three. I kept the other one. Do, do, How many do, cards do, have you got? Three. And he's just played three. You had too many cards in your No, mind. because that was last round when I stole one. Yeah, you have to discard down at the end of your turn. That, it wasn't the end of my turn. Oh, was it between turns? Yes. Oh, OK. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to use its spittle ability. Which is? Flip one lesser creature and play. What? Flip one lesser creature? That is lesser. It is. You're six on four. Well, thank you very much. All right, right so I've given you a card back and now you need to discard down to five. I don't need the discard because you stole one of my cards. Can I get two, please? Three. Dun, dun. Oh, that's, um, can I have the top five cards, please? Of the draw, draw deck. Two, three. Um, I think I get to steal one. Yeah. Mummy, may I have another three matching wizards? <laughs> oh, I want two of them. Uh, yeah, they can go back in that order. Okay. Right, so four cards of the same element. So I get the wormling. Okay. 
Why would the other sevens go on? Why am I single seven? I don't think. You may take any cards in the draw pile or the child pile. You probably need to discard down now, don't you? Yeah. 15, Or is that so you can draw from the child instead of the draw pile? Mm-hmm. Uh, how many cards am I supposed to have? Five. I've got to discard two. <laughs> right, let's discard that one. Draw that one. Oh, that's not very good. Okay, I'm going to. I've got three. A three card run of the same element. One thing with these cards, a little bit confusing. Um, although it is generally overall green, the, the, the colour behind them. Six has got this red dragon, which confuses some people, but the overall card is green, so... Um, what yeah, did you say? Three cards? Three cards are the same element. No run. That's it. So... Hmm. I'm going to take the Wyvern. And I think I'm going to use it straight away. I'm going to look at one player's... Uh, sure. Let's finish first. I need to draw three cards. Two, three. I wonder who's going to. And now I'm going to look at your card and I'm going to swap one of your cards with one of mine. I think it might be obvious this one. Fine. Uh, they're not particularly great cards. No, I haven't got very good cards this time. Let's take that one. Why not the one I chose? I'll give you. What do I get? Oh, thanks. And it's your turn, Ty. Okay, I'm going to discard. That helps. A card. Draw a card. Shoot that one out. Um, three matching wizards. Okay. Three matching wizards is this part again. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> Read it. So he had three. Three. Two, three. All you're deciding, I'm just going to carry on. A fairy! Um, oh, you've chosen already. A fairy. Reset, receive one Watch. lesser creature in play. What does that mean? Revive one lesser creature oh, in play. Okay. So you can revive, if you've got a five or lower, because lower than a six, you can revive it. Just revive an eagle! So you're using that to revive your eagle. Now, my wormling. Do I have to take the top card of the child pile? So, yeah. Well, I'm discarding that one anyway, and then I'll have two from there. Good, and that was worse than the last one. Three cards. No, I haven't got a three card run. Three card. Oh. I should flip that over so you know. <laughs> Bobby, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Bobby. I don't mind if I want all gone. No yeah, three matching wizards. Alright, I'll just um, I'll get a wisp. You're on a wisp. Two cards. Of the same element. Yeah. And I say... I win. No! I just called it. So we now go around. We have the opportunity to use any abilities that might affect or give us victory points. But none of us have got any of those cards. So we don't need to worry about that. All I need is so, 112 for mystery that yeah, I would well, have won. It doesn't matter. Count up what you have got, not what you wish you had. So I've got 11, 14, 19. 23. 23, you beat me. I sort of went one round too far. I've got 33. 33. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. So, Mummy won. I come second, and I was last. So, what do you think of this game? I really like this game. I like all the cards, abilities, and everything. It's a really good game. I'd give this about 8.5. 8.5 out of 10. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. What you I like the game. It is a good game when you get round to it, but. There can be quite a lot of luck when you get them cards out. When not, like, you deal them out. It can be quite lucky for one person, yeah. and then <laughs> it does end the game quite quick. But all in all, it's a very good game. Yeah. So mm, six and a half, I think. Right. So yeah, as Kelly mentioned, there, there can be a fair bit of luck in this game. Um, however, I need to point out that the rules are not final. Um, this game is going to be on Kickstarter in about a week. And the designer is very open to feedback and suggestions and, and help from the community. So, um, yeah, he's, he's still working on it. The, um, the rules are not set in stone. Um, for me, I think there's the basis of what could be a very, very good game. Um, 
there's a fairly steep learning curve at first because all these cards are different um, with all the different abilities um, but you do start to realise quite quickly that there's a theme among the sets of three um, so yeah it becomes quite easy after a few games to remember roughly what each card does and what you're going to be shooting for so um, yeah I mean the, even the, this mode of game um, I'm pretty sure there'll be other modes as well which can be made using these cards um, he's also working on an expansion as well, so yeah, there's a huge amount of potential, and uh, I'll be very interested to see how it goes. So I'll put a link to uh, the Kickstarter. Um, I've not got this link just yet, but as soon as I get the link for the Kickstarter, I'll put it in the description below, so you can go and check it out and have a look yourselves. Um, what else? The artwork, as you can see, that the cards are very bright and, and vividly done, and yeah, certainly draw you into the, uh, the sort of fantasy and mythical creatures. It's uh, brilliant depicted artwork. on this, so yeah, we um, we like it a lot. There's also some other cards. There's, there's more extra cards in this box, um, which um, are just more for each set. When you when you add these in, you'll shuffle yeah, each set and just deal out three. So you, so you so you so you only ever have three of um, each uh, type of card to choose from. But there's more options in here, and there we go. You can't have a game without Cthulhu in it. <laughs> no, why does Cthulhu? We've got the Grim Reaper, Minor Tools, the Vorpal Bunny, Metatron. And the Crystal Rose looks quite interesting. Um, with this one, it's worth minus three points. Uh, but when you conjure it, you give it to an opponent. And then when your opponent's got it, they can conjure it to give it to somebody else. So it's a good card that you could be passing around trying to get rid of, which is quite interesting. And then finally, there's also a set of curse cards in here for a single player variant. So yeah, so there's a huge amount of variety and potential, and it looks like it should do really well. So yeah, check it out. And uh, yeah, that's it from us, I think. So we shall see you next time. Oh, hang on, I nearly forgot. See, we've not done a video in so long, I've forgotten what we normally do at the end. Come on, give me a clue. Oh, check Don't out. forget to give us a like. like and subscribe to the channel as well. And check out our website at boardgamingathome.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Where are you going? <laughs> Get the box lit! <laughs>